Hi, Matt from Invariant here, and welcome to the tutorial video on creating a geo-referenced image in RapidPlan. As you may know already, RapidPlan has a number of base map providers available for use on your plan. RapidPlan now has a new tool enabling users to bring in their own image from an external map provider and being able to reference it respectively. By using this tool, you have the coordinates incorporated into the image, allowing you to plot your plan on a live map in your Rapid Plan Cloud library. For information on using or accessing Rapid Plan Cloud, simply follow the link in the description below. The other benefit of the tool is that all of your measurements will be set to scale on your plan, allowing you to measure out signage and distances accurately. To start using the georeferencing tool, simply come up to the Tools, Advanced Tools, and click on Georeference Image Files. This will now display a dialog box where we can import our external image. If we click Load Image here, we can then find the desired map image on your computer. The image I have provided here is from Google Earth. Once imported, you will then just need to adjust your map so your worksite is in the centre of your plan. You can move the map by left clicking and panning, and you can also zoom in and out with your mouse wheel. Once positioned, we then need to search for our worksite on the live map here. Simply hit the search icon and search for your work location by address or coordinates. I already have the coordinates for my worksite copied, so I will just paste them here. Then from here, we just need to adjust the map image and the live map so they are just about identical in terms of positioning. Once that is complete, the final step is setting the pixel location points on the image and the live map. The, the idea of this is to identify two areas that are of note on your image and mark them out. Ideally, the two areas of note will need to be as far away from each other as possible for the most accurate georeferencing. For this image, I will use the centre of the cul-de-sac here and also the centre of the T intersection. As you can see, they are a fair distance apart, so it will work well for this image. To set the first pixel point, which is the red one, just right click on the map image for your first area of note, and then just mark out that same spot on the live map as well. Once that's done, move back to the map image and place the second pixel point, which is the blue one, on the other area of note. And then again, just do the same for your live map. Once those points are set, hit save, and we now have our own georeference base map image. This will then save a .jgw file next to your image, which is also known as a world file. This file will contain all of the georeferencing data for your image. So now we can ex exit out of this dialog box and actually use our base image on our plan. To use the image, Hit the new plan wizard button here and then select base map. Once selected, down in the bottom area here, there's a selection to insert your own georeferenced image. Once selected, if we hit add files, we can add the image we have just referenced. Now that it has its accompanying world file beside it, it will now import all georeferenced data such as coordinates, scale and bearing, as you can see here. Simply hit next and then you can add all of your plan details as normal and set your desired print region as well. I'm going to manually adjust the plan scale so the image I have used fits my default print region on the canvas area. I will do this by setting the absolute scale to 1 to 500 and adjusting the relative scale to 1 centimeter equals 5 meters. Just note that the plan scale can be adjusted in the properties palette at any time. Once all of your information is correct, hit create plan 
and your geo-referenced image will now be placed on your plan. As you can see in the properties here, my plan coordinates also display for the image as well. That sums up creating a geo-referenced image in Rafa plan. Thanks for watching. Please hit subscribe below to be updated on new content at Invarian.